Hey you guys, welcome to another episode of Day Shine Art Shows. We got done looking at Noble Nanga episode 9. This episode uh, so was uh, CEO in the hospital and a CEO came and visit her. And this is seeming like a typical old girl just talk about boy uh, routine. However, I say I kind of figure out why can we fish this damn camera. Okay, my bad for that. Anyway, um, I say we'll kind of find out why I had not um returned her her emails or anything, and basically CEO explained to her that you know where she work at is a little strict. She can't go on the internet. She can't call nobody. She can't communicate with the outside world. So, you know, she was able to receive, but she couldn't send back the email. Yeah, I said, like, oh, I thought you were giving me the cold stroller, but okay, it's cool. We can talk about everything now. And basically, um, CO basically was talking about Jack the Ripper, a.k.a. Adam. She, it seemed like she liked Adam due to the fact that um, they were, you know, she constantly she talked about more than Newton and um, Grandy, or Grandi. She always talk about Jack the Ripper over and over again. And then the entire hospital got attacked by these big ass beetles. And my whole thing is um one, a sailor could have just hopped on the bus and just left. However, she just wanna be a hero and get herself killed. Dumbass um, you know, oath of friendship, I guess. It was stupid to me. But um also, um, the uh, Saint, I forgot, Saint, I forgot, damn, I forgot his name, Saint something. But anyway, the dude with the glasses, let's just call him Saint. Saint Jarman. Shut up, Chris. Saint Jarman. <laughs> yeah, Chris over there. But anyway, Saint uh, Jarman basically came and saved her. It's appeared that he got killed due to his car exploded because he hit the monster with the car, and the monster broke the car and blew it up. St. Jeremy appears to not be human due to the fact that he just walked out of there unscathed. Not a cut, not a burn, not even a mess up damn suit. That's a badass suit. And, um, shit, that practically it. And Nobunaga actually, actually, um, so that she can use her power out the ball to transform, which is pretty interesting. Can okay, everybody else do that? Or she's the only one that can actually harness the inner spirit of Nobunaga to fire a finger bang at somebody. But um it's appeared that Jack Ripper wanted to talk to her at the end of the um show. So I'm about to look at the next episode, see what's actually going on with that. But anyway, turn you guys name make sure you rate, comment, subscribe on your piece.